official announcement from Kensington Palace and the Prince of Wales on their Instagram account. Kate Middleton returns to public life in a completely unexpected way with a film project related to mental health behind it all. Well, let's tell it because it is true that the British press has jumped on it immediately, but it is not really a return as such. Let's say they are somewhat delayed projects that now somehow come to light. Also, here on YouTube, by the way, on the other hand, we have the other woman, a new one, not Roxanne Berry, who has settled in Kensington Palace. A new person casts a shadow on Kate. She has been talked about in recent days. Honestly, I haven't wanted to make much noise about it, because there were conspiracy theories for me that were quite incredible regarding that. But the truth is that when I tell you her name, you'll be amazed because she was the person I mentioned here on the channel and well, it caught our attention quite a bit. Mind you, she is not from Kate's family, but let's start with Kate Middleton's project, where she returns to public life. This is how the British press is somewhat framing it. And indeed, well, I'm going to translate it directly for you. Princess Catherine, Catalina, or Kate, as we know her, presents a new trailer for a film about mental health in her first project since the royal's cancer diagnosis. Well, Kate has taken a small step towards returning to royal duties with an important announcement before Mental Health Awareness Week. Just a few hours ago, the Prince and Princess of Wales confirmed the release of a new short film to highlight the mental health of farmers in the country. This is the first official project linked to the Princess of Wales since Kate made her cancer diagnosis public in March, following global speculation about her health and whereabouts. We are in Mental Health Awareness Week, and in this short film presented by the Prince of Wales on their social media, they say they have brought together the inspiring Sam Stables from Ware Farming. Mines and the brilliant farmer will for a very special film. This is written by Kate and William through their official social media accounts. Although for me, I think obviously it was their communication team who wrote it, specifically Kensington Palace. After spending a day together on Sam's farm in Hereford, they discussed mental health in the farming community, how to find support, and the health strategy of the Duchy of Cornwall. The film has been released. Well, just a few hours ago on YouTube, it's true that it doesn't have many views and Kate doesn't appear. It's a 10-minute short film streamed on YouTube and endorsed by Kensington Palace. The project was produced with guidance from the Prince and Princess through the Duchy of Cornwall. The Duchy's Council, also known as the Prince's Council, meets twice a year and is chaired by William, who inherited the Duchy from his father. When Charles became king and in turn took over the larger Duchy of Lancaster, the project was already underway before Kate and Kate's health battles, and the Prince and Princess of Wales met Sam when they visited his farm last September. Mind you, I'll stick with this date last September to launch the mental health strategy of the Duchy. A good topic, in quotation marks, unknown mental health, no, but specifically aimed a bit at people from the countryside. The British press is ecstatic about all this. And, well, they've written some things that seem more or less like Kate has left her house, greeted the press, given a conference, and little less than that. But the truth is, it's not like that. Dear Prince, Prince of Wales, and Princess Catherine, thank you for enlightening the farmers. This was written by a royal observer, one of the royal rota. As I watched this video, I thought of you and your family. I don't know you personally, but what I've seen so far is that all of you care about others. This film ultimately marks a rare update regarding Kate Middleton with an indefinite pause from public life due to that cancer treatment she revealed in that statement two months ago, and the Prince of Wales clan is closing to the world and prioritizing family time. These are a bit the conclusions reached by the royal rota. Well, this is nonsense. This seems to me a bit to keep Kate alive. Many people were aware this project was coming out, and I think what they've done here is simply, well, 
amplify which i don't think is bad because in the end it's a charitable cause let's say but personally i feel it's just an excuse from these royal observers with the aim of keeping kate middleton's memory alive somehow but we catch all the news and all the news includes this thing i was talking about earlier about the other woman who has arrived at kensington palace we're talking about a person we mentioned on the channel who wouldn't have initially anything to do with kate and charles roman three well maybe we could name her a bit well indirectly no but finally we're not talking about gabriella de windsor yes the widow of thomas kingston it's been a while since we've heard anything about her the last we knew was that she was going to attend curiously the colors spin-off event an event where kate middleton usually attends and it seems that this year it's going to be filled with other women namely two gabriellas on one side and beatrice of york who we mentioned was going to take on a sort of replacement role by order of king charles roman three in everything related to kate's agenda well pay attention to the news because of this girl we hadn't heard anything since thomas kingston's death she was the widow there were many questions about it well now we know that lady gabriella windsor the deceased wife of thomas kingston who supposedly died from a gunshot wound to the head has moved to kensington palace yes she is now part of real life william and kate's royal life and why this move well as you know there have been many conspiracy theories surrounding thomas kingston's death it was said at the time that he could have been kate's lover it was said at the time that william could have had something to do with it in his tragic demise articles were published asking what would happen if an heir or a future king or a prince commits a crime and well from there there have been all kinds of theories even theories that talk about kate's pregnancy by this man of course none of this proves if they were more social media theories than actual news published about it thomas kingston's death however is mysterious at the time we already said there were some odd things about it because of his work because of his political family and we didn't quite see it all in any case with whom thomas kingston did have a relationship was curiously with kate's sister as you can see there with pippa middleton of course it's attention grabbing it's attention grabbing because we've had a week where we've seen a complete rise of other women with the british press leading a narrative somewhat to overshadow the princess of wales we've seen it with beatrice of york who all things considered may be an harmless element because she also gets along with harry just like her sister eugenie we've also seen how rose hanbury received camilla's blessing and has been seen in public events returning to public life with her son also wearing a bit of the king's cloak which caught our attention and the third in discord of all these women is gabriella windsor who is william's cousin but now we know she has moved to kensington my question is since when since thomas's death well probably well upon receiving news like this and considering a bit applying normalcy and logic well it's normal to seek refuge in your family it's normal for people who love you to help you but it's something that catches my attention i don't know if it's a bit of the slander of all these conspiracy theories but if there are things in this regard that i find a bit significant i want to recall william's words when thomas kingston passed away saying it was a tragedy for the whole family words that resonated and words that somewhat turned against him by a sector of social media personally i think there's nothing in all this they are just cousins but well we already know a bit that the blood ties in the royal family are somewhat strange not normal like the rest of the people but beyond all that i don't see anything strange the only thing well is her presence at the colors spin-off which i think other women are going to continue to appear we might also find rose hanbury there but well as a fact it seems quite curious to me that we haven't had any news about this girl gabriella windsor and that now suddenly she reappears with this unexpected move well i don't know what you think leave it in the comments subscribe ring the bell 
like to support the channel and I leave you here with more videos and on the secondary channel. Thank you for being there.